What's up everybody? This is Adam with the Nidus Anarchy series. This is post Identiverse 2023. I am still up from yesterday. <laughs> so I took the red eye out last night and I've just been making up for all lost time all day today. I am utterly exhausted. I had an amazing time. It was so much fun. Got to see a lot of old friends. So shout out to all the cool people that were hanging out with me at the bar until two, three, four in the morning. It was an awesome time. <laughs> So I did Universe 2023, it was pretty cool. I got in on Tuesday, um, late night. So really I just got to hang out, got to hang out with some of the guys from Ping at the bar. So that was fun. So basically I walked right into the hotel, right to the bar, drink in hand and proceeded to get hammered until around two in the morning. So had an amazing time. I knew we were gonna have a good time as soon as that started. Um, Wednesday, that's when I really started to actually take place in the expo and really see what's going on with the conference and everything. Really got to meet, you know, shake hands, kiss babies, all that kind of fun stuff. But we did get to go around and interview a ton of different vendors and find out about their products and hopefully a very fun and exciting way for, you know, giving what we have going on. Also, not just me, but Ted's doing some interviews and Ian, our camera guy. Spin yep, I'm, I'm here. Spin it around. Spin myself around? Okay, there This we go. guy, That's me. so you're going to see him. <laughs> so he's in there. So yeah, so we got a whole bunch of stuff coming out. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but I got some really cool socks from ID Data, what's it say? ID Data Web. Yes, ID Data, that's a mouthful of a company, but they do some pretty cool identity proofing stuff. Met some pretty cool, exciting tech, lots of awesome people. It's gonna be pretty rad. So stay tuned, we're gonna have episodes coming up probably every day because we have so much just to get this stuff out there. Um, yeah, I'm stoked, but I'm also going to go to bed for a very long time. So I don't wanna give too much away about the impressions because like when in the interviews you're gonna see, there's a company out there that's doing some really cool risk uh, mitigation analysis uh, as as a service which plugs right into all the orchestration tools that's pretty cool so you're gonna see some stuff from them um, cool unfortunately there really wasn't anything like where I was like oh my god you have to check this out I guess the only the, no you know what there was a company called token and what they had is a prototype of a hardware device and it was a ring and it was a biometric um, NFC FIDO authenticator device. So basically the ring has a little fingerprint sensor on the inside to authenticate yourself and then you put it on and then you stay authenticated the entire time that you're wearing this ring. And then you can just tap your ring everywhere to authenticate. So that's pretty cool. And you know, there's obviously some interesting use cases there. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but I kind of spun their whole world around when I was like, man, you should be using this to, you know, make payments. Cause if I can just wear a ring and just tap my ring everywhere I go and pay for stuff, that's amazing. Like, oh, you know, we can't do it because of all the different licensing and fin probably, you know, the, the, the financial regulations and all that stuff. They're just like, yeah, we can't do it. And I was like, no, 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 forget that. You can do it right now. If you make this thing a hardware wallet and you use it to pay with crypto, you can instantly be making payments with your ring. And you could just see the light bulbs going off in their head. And then the one lady was like, actually, the very first prototype that the, the originator of this thing made it was a hardware wallet. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it. So they had some pretty cool, they had some pretty cool stuff. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any video of them because when I came back the next day, they are gone. That's the one thing, man. Come on, guys. If you have a booth, I know the second day you're already bored and you don't want to be there anymore, but like so many booths are just empty, like gone. There's no one there to talk to on the second day. So like, come on, you got to stick around because I really wanted to talk to the token guys. You know what? I'll, I'll find their website and I'll get some info and maybe we'll do like a whole thing on it. You know, that was pretty cool. So that was like the coolest thing that I say I saw there. So there's a company, I don't want to name names, but they had... Um, they had, they're like, hey, look how awesome we are. We can take your hotel key. We can use this as the FIDO device. You could use your badge to get in and out of your office and you just tap it on an RFID reader and boom, that's your key, you're now in. And while as cool as that sounds on the surface, the problem is, because they're pitching themselves like, look how much better we are than YubiKey because YubiKey is like 50 bucks and this is you know hotel key, it's free or your badge, you already have it on you. The problem is you can clone those RFID cards very easily. I have two devices right now in my house that I can easily clone an RFID card just by walking by you or t tapping on it with my, with my device. You'd have no idea that I now own your identity. So I'm not really 100% sold on that. Like the YubiKey being a physical device that you have to touch to actually do something to, to trigger that key. There, there's a reason that it's a physical device that it has all these extra security layers in there. So yeah, there were some issues with some things out there, but you know what? Hey, it's cool that people are trying to be innovative. I would say the biggest thing that I saw that that's, was way more than last year is a lot more passwordless. I would say about a third of all the booths there 
were doing some form of passwordless authentication in some in one way or another. They're talking about some form of passwordless authentication. So this is absolutely going to be blowing up. And also, I saw a lot of companies doing decentralized ID, sovereign ID. Um, got a few of those. I'd say like maybe four or five booths where they're talking about decentralized ID. So that was pretty exciting as well. Um, yeah, so those are cool techs that I'm into. So I'm, I'm glad to see that the industry is moving in the direction I was, I was expecting it to see. So everyone wants to know. I think the biggest question on everyone's mind is who had the coolest merch, right? Because everyone's going around collecting all this stuff. And I think the number one thing that everyone's giving away were those the beer koozies. Like, come on, lame. Number two, lots of people, socks. Lots of people had socks everywhere. I took these socks from these guys. The only pair of socks I took because they were really cool dudes. So therefore, I wanted to represent their socks. But um, yeah, socks seem to be super cool. But the number one thing that I would say was the coolest merch was by Savian. So they had individual Jack Daniels bottles, and it might have been single barrel, but I mean, it was individual Jack Daniels bottles where they had their, um, the people that registered for their party or whatever it was, they had their names engraved on the actual bottle and handed them out to everybody. That's some sweet merch. Like I, I tried to stick around the end, like, hey, when these people don't come to pick up these bottles, I'm here. But they packed up and left before I could get back there. <laughs> so yeah, so. It's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to have a lot of different episodes coming up soon. We're going to be flashing these out as quick as we can. So stay tuned to the channel. Follow us on LinkedIn, YouTube. We're going to be posting all the videos on there. Obviously, the podcast will be on Spotify. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok as well for all the shorts. Um, we're going to be putting out stuff pretty regularly. So make sure you check back every day. We're going to have cool vendors, maybe even some not cool vendors. But if we could give them some love, that would be very much appreciated because we really want to get people coming back on here and, and really and talking to us. Also, we've lined up a couple of really cool interviews that we're going to be doing some Zoom calls over the next couple of weeks with them. Like some of the CEOs of these companies are really get into their products because while talking with them, we realized we cannot just have a five minute little conversation here. Like we really want to get in depth with these guys and their tech. So we have a lot of really cool interviews lined up that we're going to be doing pretty soon. So stay tuned.